that should be live now. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, we're live. All right, so let me do some quick sharing here, get the uh, housekeeping out of the way. If you're on Facebook too, Dave, you want to share it anyway, you just... I just, I just yeah. did, buddy. There you go. All right. Share it there. It is a little slow when I'm streaming. Let's see. All right, one more share over here. One more share over here, and then we get going. Sharon. One more time, yeah, boom. Okay, we're all shared out there, the world can see us now. All right, Dave, welcome to the show. Everyone, this is David Gusson. Founder of uh, 516ads.com, a uh, longtime friend uh, of, I don't know, it's got to be what, about 15 years ago? When did you start 516ads? It's got to be about 15. 15 years ago. Yeah, so about 15 years ago, uh, we discovered each other. We've been friends ever since. Uh, Dave uh, is the founder of the uh, Everything Bagel. Um, that's a fun fact. Um, he I guess creator. I, I don't know if you found it, but yes, yeah, created, created, founded, however you want to uh, call it. Yeah, uh, and, and uh, uh, we'll get uh, into uh, that. And then uh, what else you do? Um, uh, learn. Um, uh, was it? Let's uh, let let let's end all racism now. That's created it. thirty years ago. Yeah. Uh, to the woke people in the world, you weren't the first people who cared. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. you know, people have cared forever. I'm sure they cared before I came around too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're not the first. Yeah, I call it <laughs> learn love, that. right? Learn love. What? Learn love. Learn, 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 well, yeah, yeah, learn in that case. It's funny you say learn love because I also did uh, learn with the heart, which is like a quiet knowledge yeah. of love, uh, uh, you know, a common symbol around the world, uh, hopefully to spread a positive message. That's what we do. We try and spread spread positivity and change the world. And uh, you got the key phrase that uh, I say in my uh, live videos a lot of times, uh, in a world where hate makes headlines, goodness needs to speak up. And and uh, that's what we do. Um, you know, a lot of us, uh, our voices are quieted by the rough world, and uh, we need to, the good stuff needs to speak up and stand up and make a difference. And that's definitely what you do with, with uh, your organization, uh, not only helping entrepreneurs, but, uh, you know, fundraisers and whatnot like that for the community and, and great causes. So, uh, so Dave, uh, let's start from the beginning. Um, let's start with the, the Everything Bagel. How'd that, how'd that come about? I love it, buddy. For 15, 16 years old, I used to hang out. Uh, maybe even 16, 17 years old. Uh, Cross Bay Boulevard, Howard Beach, Queens, New York. Used to come from hanging out with my friends, go straight to work. Uh, one of my jobs was uh, sweeping out the oven. Uh, uh, in the scope of the everything bagel, buddy, that matters. Those were the well-done seeds, yeah. the ones left over the course of the day. Yeah. So the original everything bagel was made with well-done seeds, which happened to taste much better, even better than they are today. Uh, and you only used to make enough bagel of what the well, there weren't that many well-done seeds. Mm -hmm. There was a, enough well-done seeds to make two dozen bagels. You weren't counting. Whatever they covered, uh, they made it. Uh, but today's everything bagel is made with uh, fresh seeds as opposed to well done seeds because it's like the most popular bagel now. So I don't even know how they do it now. They mixed all the seeds together uh, and, and that. But the original was made with well done seeds. Uh, the original ones had salt and garlic on it. Most everything bagels today uh, don't have salt and garlic, uh, whether it smells too much and they're unhealthy. So the original was made with well done seeds, my friend. Love it, love it, love it. And uh, you, you like many of us, started your uh, working, and uh, that was what high school, high school years when you started your first yeah, job. Yeah, high school years. I, I got my job. I uh, skated in after a Canasi Cougar game, uh, which I'm pretty sure I didn't play in because I sucked <laughs> at hockey. But my friends still let me get a uniform, and I certainly was a good uh, cheerleader uh, for them. So I, I got the job. I skated into the store. Uh, they hired me, and uh, yeah. Uh, my first job ever was uh, actually putting in uh, my next door neighbor was a woman who owned a local travel agency. 
and she had me put flyers in the door. So I even put flyers in people's doors before I became a newspaper boy uh, like so many others. Yeah. I was in Queens, New York, so I actually did the New York Post and the New York Times. Looking at today's world, buddy, I had the liberal world and the conservative world. <laughs> right, yeah. All, all, all forces. The enemy going, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't realize it at the time, but I was liberal, delivering liberal and conservative news at the same time, according to the people that tell us what to think. Yes. I love being on the show with you, buddy. Yeah. I was telling you earlier, because you bring out the best in me. And, yeah. and the best in me would be uh, speaking to this world in a respectful, kind, nice way that hopefully does get us moving in a positive direction. Not this show by itself, but uh, all of us doing the little bit that we can uh, to move the world in a positive direction. Yep, that's uh, my, my saying is fire starts fire. You know, uh, by us doing good and, and, and spot being an inspiration to other people, other people start to be an inspiration.